Good evening. You are listening to Studio 7 from the Voice of America on Wednesday, October 13th, 2021. And this is Live Talk Diaspora Forum. I'm Jonga Kandemiri. And I'm Chris Gande. We would like to inform you, our listeners, that because of the coronavirus pandemic, we are not able to give you our usual show, and you will not be able to call in since we are broadcasting from our homes. Uh, thanks once again for joining us. You are listening to Studio 7 Live Talk, and this evening we are discussing about COVID-19, the decline in deaths and new cases, and the vaccination drive. We are also going to continue with our discussion on the diaspora vote and the diaspora policy. The government is crafting the Zimbabwe diaspora policy that is aims to harness social and economic contribution of locals living abroad, diaspora voting, and dual citizenship. But first, the health ministry reported yesterday that two people died from COVID-19, while 141 new cases were recorded countrywide. And as at yesterday, Zimbabwe had 132,016 confirmed cases, including 125,693 recoveries and 4,645 deaths. To date, a total of 3.1 million people have had their first doses of COVID-19 vaccine, while 2.4 got their second doses. COVID-19 so Jagasia, Vanu, Va Batwane, then the Irori, Nikayose, Vashika, one hundred and thirty two thousand and sixteen, and I would do Zana, Nema Kumimata, Nejiri, Negumi, Nevatana, to Kuchito, Vanu, Rafa, Nikovit Nantu, Kupapatanga, Chiwere, Chimunika, Vakashika, Pazuru, Zina, Nemazana, Matana, Nema Kumimana, Nema Shano, and out of four thousand six hundred and forty five. Chitari Savanua Nomba. Urumende Rutasa to type and not shake of Pedago Gore, Inga Bayavan and Panakita, Mamiru and Kumi can out ten million. As it turned out to Scanes Zuru, Pakango Darika, Jishoma, Mamiru and Matatu, Van Wakabaiwa, Nombaya Piri, three million one hundred eighty three thousand three hundred fourteen. Puchitwakabaiwa, Dino Rombo, Aundevano, Wakabaiwa, Nombaya Kutanga, three million one hundred eighty three thousand three hundred fourteen. Van Wakabaiwa, Nomba, Yakutanga, Wakabaiwa, Nombaya Piri. Vanga Vango Pura, Zishoma, Mamiru and Maviri, the Kuskapa, two million four hundred and twenty eight thousand five hundred and forty. In number, it repasses the Kuru, the Stars out of Rumende, in order to the Panuska Opera Gore, in Gabaya, to come Makumata and Atuku Bamuzan, Hanoti, sixty per cent, Kanakuti, ten million, the Wandu Evano, Vanave, Zimbabwe. Shatar Sonya, yes, you saw Zimbabwe, Shilukun Zepenika, Ne Urongwa, Urupitan Urupunde. We diaspora policy on the Zimbabwe, diaspora policy. And of Gavaru, Gazira Michemo, in Ubatano, Zimbabwe, Munya, Zema Pisimus, the Ufumi, Zema Basan, the Shimus, Kadaraka, Kutuaka, Kumshaka, Kuchayo, the Shimus, Jinsu, Gutas, Kauti, one of Zimbabwe, and Gaita say, Varukunze, as known out to Nan, Chemer, one of Zimbabwe, Varukunze, in a Utuanda, Utuanga, Kubumis, Kubota, Varamunika, Zava Gere, Pamuchet, Nekubumis, Kapita, Zara, Shinikambir, Pamsura, Pesumus, Singada, no Rumende, Ichaita. Even a woman, the Kanzo, a Chema Guti, Avana Mari, Kanasukani Stiro. They were to Mangawa to Miravan, Kunika Zosi, Kutuana, Kansako Vota, Barakunika Zavagere, then Woko and Yaga Simuswa, Nebato Zano PF, Ruta Royer with Ayoga, Mutambo, Awaka Terama, a young Zil level field, a playing field, a easy level Ayo, a Varguti, Nenema sanctions, Kunevam, Vasinga Kansunga, which is the end of Kunizumi Nikago, Kunana Zimbabwe, or Chagaru Tigiro. Mamma Pato, I a sales than a peer, Nenya Zirango. Sakande Mwenya, if we talk with the Dofunga Dosero Kumashuri, I see, so that's the child that the Rispa. A tripoons goes, I got a good team, which was the Rome Tungamiri, Wenyika, Vice President of Constantino Chuenga, Variku, United Arab Emirates, Duko, Dubai, Kwaru Tangano, Zakarinavano, Zimbabwe, Varikoko, Vachins Gorge, Chemo, Dofunga Dodi, Mazenia, Zimbabwe, Pesaka, Chris. 
Ye Bogambe, John Garcia Bonga, Suluanda Basia, Tibana Jalo, which lay low to Le Life Talk, Diaspora Forum, La Poge, Escota, Lazy Salonis, Zimbabwe, Ez Semazeni, Sikotang, and Daba, Ez Patelane, Lazy Zimbabwe. Lamplange, Ez Lendaba, Ez Zimbil, Ez Bamba, Yosi, Atalas Kangeleona, Ez Lupayo, Lazy Sugu, Indaba, Ye Corona Virus, Sikulumaganje. Izolo, Utiwa, Ulavantu Ababi, Ababulewege, E. Covid nineteen, E. Gutige, Aba Abang one hundred and forty one Babanjage, one le coronavirus. Ye, we are changing Sasabil, we are Tembisa Uti, Aman Nombolo, Angani, Aeta, Maskatanisage, Lawama, Vigi Ambalo, Aldudeo, Lapogatese Gusifa, Abantu Abab Figa Bona Pose, Ikulu, Nelanga, Potage, Gatesis, Abona Sebeba Villain, Jegupela, Abab Lawage, he COVID nineteen, Nelanga, Yes, Kangel and Jalo, Ushelo, Logusaba, Ech, Seni, Yog Vigelage, he COVID nineteen, uh, Sebonubana, Ulabantu, Asebel, Lula, Bona, a Izikiti, Ezimbili, Asebe Sachwe, a Ejexen, Yakala, Utge, Aba Sachwe, Esbili, by Lula Bona Izikiti, Ezinta to three point one million. Sipinde Gesikangele, Utaba, Lue Diaspora, a Umteto, Oza Kangelage, Ulaula, Labo, Abachala, Emazueni, Umteto, Lo, Tiwa, Oza Kangela, a Indaba Esning, Gakulu. Ez balisa uguti abantu bavunye lo na uguti babe hizi salwane za mazwe ama vili e, kumbe njalo uh, lo gunye ukangelo ge ngumteto lo esi za ubamba ge lea labo esi ba ngusle uguti basi pati sege kutle lo lo la mtlanje si abona njalo ubana ye si kuluma ganje si zwa utiwa e, msege liga mwonga meli e, umnumza na konstantino chiwenga Use mazweni kona le e Dubai la po awubutuwa kona ukulumisana ge le zalaneze Zimbabwe. E dinga ge lone do lunga patisa e Zimbabwe chonga. Ndi so so. Ya krise nasi mchirongwa. Chine radarewedu. E, Ndunoye uchidza. Watereru kuti. Kitondo rapera. Takati chikurukura. Nyayiwe chikuru ye diaspora. Yaka ita kuti pawe ne kuna kiza. E, Saka ita kuti watereri ne watariri. Wakumbire kuti ayo waka. Chirongwa ishi mnei machidi muri rapa nzira. Madi uchidzosa shakari. Ndiyo shaita nasi kutiti tose chirongwa ichocho. Saka zatu da utite nasi Chris. Chota risa nguwa digi digi tuwe ipa. Kunyayede ndare COVID-19. Asi tope disa kurukura. Nyayedu ye kushakari. E, Saka yezino tinewa darewedu. Tinewa darewedu. Tinewa inosendi. Ndivali. Tava ndivali. Ndino kugamchira ya mchirongwa. Batu EFF zia. EFF Zimbabwe yes. EFF Zimbabwe, this was so. Daitra on the side, Daitra the Sizo. Yes, Tina Tawanda Zokora Zakari, Vanue, Sashigaro, where MTC Alliance, Mudunre, North America, Zokora no Gamchira M. Chironga. Eh, Magadim Kanya Jonga, Magadim Koma Chris, Magadi Muria Zimbabwe, Agate. Bam Soro Peva Virava, Tinava, Regis, Vusango. Eh, charumbira ve bato re zano pf waripo shakari saka ni muka na watini tichuana ndio kutinu kwansa unge tipangu wa rini wano vana wanengu wa chitaura saka nchatende kataura ndio zombo tisuduruke chingo chinja na kusuduruka kutra utose tipane mikana but uh, first of all Chris maybe we can start by looking at the COVID-19 uh, figures yesterday we heard from the Minister of Health that there were two deaths and 141 new cases reported uh, Mr. Ndivali, your take on that. Can we say the, uh, there is a, a, a marked uh, decline in uh, COVID-19 new cases and deaths, or there is something that uh, people are not uh, looking at? Because some people are raising issues like, uh, no, many people are not going to uh, voluntarily get tested for COVID-19, and also the issue of vaccination. People are saying there should be mobile uh, clinics at least to help people rather than people walking to clinics to have uh, uh, those jabs. Your take, uh, Mr. Ndivali. Uh, let me unmute you. I think you are muted. Okay, go ahead. Oh, thank you very much uh, for having me uh, today. Uh, I, I greet um, the panel and I greet my fellow uh, panelists. Um, 
Yes, uh, there is indeed a, a marked um, decline uh, of uh, the um, this uh, pandemic. Uh, we must be uh, very, very clear that, uh, look, as I have often said, I think what is very, very important is that uh, right from the onset, uh, the government uh, under the leadership uh, that we have uh, took this issue seriously. And uh, I think there was a very clear um, you know, leadership in terms of uh, spreading the information and making sure that uh, people adhered to the guidelines that are there to safeguard our lives and ensure that uh, uh, people practice uh, social distancing, uh, wash their hands and so on. Uh, but I think looking at the figures, if uh, indeed we are going about what exactly has been reported that uh, only uh, two deaths have been reported compared to what uh, was happening um, in the previous uh, in the previous weeks, uh, where we had seen quite a, a number uh, of uh, people losing their lives. So there is a change. I think I want to also say that uh, if you also look in terms of the vaccination, uh, we are saying that uh, over two point uh, uh, over two point uh, two point one or two point uh, two point one uh, two point four million have been vaccinated and they've had their second vaccination, and over three point one. Uh, million have had their first vaccination. So one can um, deduce from these figures and say that uh, if the ones that have had the second vaccine can uh, indeed uh, go and have, uh, or the, or those who have had their first vaccine can indeed go and have their second uh, very soon, uh, within a week or so, we can have over 5 million uh, people vaccinated. So I think it's, we are not doing badly. I think we must actually um, uh, congratulate ourselves as a country. If you look, you juxtapose this uh, to the population that we have, as well as the fact that uh, vaccination is not a compulsory exercise. People have got to make their informed decisions and people have got to um, uh, also access these clinics. I've spoken very uh, strongly that the government has got to make these vaccines accessible. It is uh, very, very correct that uh, such uh, vaccines should be made in the form of mobile clinics so that the elderly and the disabled can access uh, the vaccine uh, from their own homes. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Andivali. Uh, Mr. Jokora, may you kindly adjust your camera because it's uh, okay, your face is cut in half. Yeah, I know. I think we can uh, see you. What's your take on the topic? Um, it's not good enough. It's not good enough. If uh, Zimbabweans are still dying, then it means um, we need to do more. Uh, Four million Zimbabweans have so far died. And uh, more can still die if uh, we just relax. We cannot, as a country... Can we correct that? It's not four million. It's four thousand. Can you, can I please finish? When you're it's speaking, not I was million. quiet. That's correct. That one. I was I was quiet <laughs> when we're speaking. So as long as Zimbabweans are dying, we cannot afford to relax. We cannot afford to be complacent. Uh, we need uh, to keep on doing everything that we can do as a country, as a nation, so that uh, we save Zimbabweans. And um, now we, are, we, we, we know that uh, the target is 10 million. And uh, we are just, uh, you know, slightly over 2 million of our people that have been, you know, given vaccinations. That's not also good enough. You know, if you are missing a target, miss a target by 20%, miss a target by 30%, miss a target by 50%. But it's unacceptable to miss a target by 75%. You know, we cannot uh, come here and give praises on ourselves when uh, Zimbabweans are dying, when Zimbabweans are getting sick, as we are speaking right now. In fact, uh, we should be asking questions, and I know uh, ZANU-PF is here, and uh, they are well supported by EFF. Uh, I would want them to tell us what has happened to the $1 billion that has been injected in our economy, not just in our economy, but in the health sector. 
you know when a stone is thrown in water a big stone is thrown in water you see by the splashes you can easily see that there is something that has happened one billion dollars was dropped in the health sector shouldn't we be seeing those mobile clinics shouldn't we be seeing people moving you know uh, getting those vaccinations closer to where they are shouldn't we be seeing the nurses the doctors the health professionals celebrating right now shouldn't we be seeing some renovations or something going on with our dilapidated health facilities one billion dollars is a lot of money let's put it into perspective you know just 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 two hundred thousand dollars is enough to resuscitate both Mpilo general hospital Harare hospital and the Mtare general hospital but we have one billion dollars that was injected in the health sector what has happened to that money has anyone been told has the government become transparent is uh, you know the minister of health or the minister of health done anything to inform zimbabweans as to the steps that the, the, the government is taking to make sure that that one billion dollars get to the person in weather gets to benefit at the person in uh, in uzumba marambafung we don't know yet but uh, of course we have zanu pf here they can tell us what's going on with one billion dollars because as of now there's no change whatsoever in the health sector mm. very interesting uh jonga what <laughs> yes uh i'm not sure whether mr charumbira is uh regular available because i've been trying to raise him but i am not seeing maybe you can give uh, mr Ndivali the opportunity to respond and then i will uh, look for mr busango Yes, uh, Mr. Ndivali, uh, you heard there what uh, 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 the chief is saying there, that uh, what, what's happening to this uh, $1 million? If, do you have an idea? Have you heard what's going on? Oh, you, you are muted. You are muted. Uh, okay. Uh, can you hear me now? Yes. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I, I'm saying I'm, yes, not okay. going to, I'm not going to speak uh, on behalf of uh, ZANU-PF or the government uh, because I'm not in the know uh, about the one million and uh, I will not comment without uh, any factual evidence. Uh, mm -hmm. So the difference between us and other political parties is that uh, we do not make things up. We look at evidence, we speak on superior logic. We do not just make sweeping statements. So I'm not going to comment on that one because I do not know. But let me respond. Let me co start by correcting uh, my um, esteemed uh, gentleman here to say the people who have died so far since uh, the uh, pandemic started is not 4 million. It is 4,645. And the confirmed cases since uh, the pandemic started is about 132,000. And the reported death uh, today is two people. And uh, the people who were being reported in the past were way over two people. So let us actually look at uh, the um, the figure that uh, the government has said they want to make sure that uh, is done within a period of time. They're talking about 10 million. Okay. So, what we have right now, we've had that uh, more than 2.4 million have had their uh, uh, vaccine. They've had both the first and the second uh, dose. And we've been told that uh, more than 3.1 million have had their second vac uh, vaccine. They've had their first. So meaning that in the next few weeks, you will have this uh, figure, which is 3.1 million, having their second dose. So between the 2.4 million and the 3.1 million, in the next week, we will have over 5.5 uh, 5 million of people having had their vaccine. Okay, so we are way over half uh, of uh, 10 million. So it is not true that uh, the government has missed in a very catastrophic, uh, you know, kind of way in terms of uh, making the vaccine available. We must remember that uh, we have seen uh, developed countries 
uh, actually uh, working in a manner that is disenfranchising Africa, African countries in terms of having access to the vaccine, in terms of the licensing of these vaccines. We've had uh, problems whereby uh, the uh, those who have got licenses uh, to uh, ensure that these vaccines available uh, in Africa have been uh, working very slow. So our government is part of that community, that is the African community. So it is not uh, fair for us as opposition leaders to just criticize for the sake of uh, gaining uh, people clapping for us. No, let us be very practical. Let us be opposition parties of substance, not protest uh, organizations. Organizations that are protest uh, organizations, they belong to pressure groups, they belong, they belong elsewhere. But if you are an opposition party, speak on figures and be honest. When the government does good, say they've done good and recognize that. When they've done bad, right, can I come in one minute then? Propose. Let's criticize and propose. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, you were saying something, uh, Chief. Uh, I think you are muted. We can't hear you. Uh, there's something wrong with your... We can't hear you. Uh. Yeah, go ahead. Let's hear. Uh, I think we have a problem there. Yeah, I don't know but I must be mute then. And no teaching. Yeah, what Zokora Mokona Mbo Udamo, Zokam Churonga, the Rukona, Bukara, Charumira, and Zotua Rikutins Gaire, Nobuta, Vasuoneka, Suman Fana, Zoa, Uh, uh, my brother Ndivale, I didn't even hear anything he was saying. I heard Zokora, but I didn't hear anything that uh, the EFF uh, representative was saying. So I also don't know if you are hearing me as well. Yes, I am. I don't, Mr. Ndivale, do you hear him? Yes, I can. I can hear Mr. Mr. Uh, yes, uh, song, yes. Yes, uh, in brief, he was saying that um, the opposition shouldn't be there to just criticize. They must come up with facts. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. I, I think uh, I'll just wrap up because I think we, uh, the questions that you were raised, because I know they, they, they both spoke for a bit. I think I'll start by talking about the uh, COVID. Uh, 19, the new cases, the death, and uh, the recoveries. I think when you are looking at our numbers, it's very clear that uh, the government of Zimbabwe is doing everything possible to make sure that the numbers keep declining. However, we know that there are no expertise in dealing with COVID-19. Every government is trying to minimize the number of dead, minimize the number of uh, casualties, minimize the number of those ca new cases. And also, the government, uh, especially the government of Zimbabwe, it's a uh, continual with the mantra of, uh, you know, making people understand that COVID is real, and also to continue with the protocols and the guidelines that the government has set up, to continue washing hands, mask up, sanitizing, social distancing. But what I've realized about our people, and it's, it, it happens all over the world, once our people relax a little bit and they don't hear people dying in their area or in their localities, they start mingling, they start abusing those protocols and those guidelines, and there we have new cases rising, and then that will lead to uh, people dying again. So our people need to know that there is no country in the world that has uh, taken COVID-19 as a done deal. 
every country is struggling to make sure that COVID-19 is eradicated. New vaccines are going to come, but the ones that are available, people should continue to use those vaccines. People should continue vaccinating if, if it's possible. People should continue social distancing, masking up, washing of hands and sanitizing. Those are the things that can help us to control the numbers of death, the numbers of uh, the spread of COVID-19. I also go to the MDC Alliance, I guess, uh, accusations. As we know that uh, the MDC Alliance is a part of accusations, everything, they accuse the government, they accuse everyone or any political party that align their ideas with the Zambia government, they shoot them down, they call them names, they talk them down, and they don't want anyone who speak good about the government of Zimbabwe. And what they don't understand is, if there is a, another political party, opposition political party, that sees that what the government is doing is actually positive. And we should all as Zimbabweans not look at who is doing it, but how things are being done. If things are being done the right way, why can't we all let and clap hands and uh, applaud for that? And what we see is that the government, I mean, the opposition uh, party, MDC Alliance, the reason why people will say this party is, is uh, foreign funded, this party is, is being run by foreign countries and foreign governments. It is because of the behavior that we see. It's only Zimbabweans, it's only uh, Shona, Ndevele, uh, whatever you can name, the behavior that we see from the MDC Alliance. You, you see that you, you can't have a, a political party that says when we speak, people should listen. When others speak, it's rubbish. There is nothing like that. You cannot live in a vacuum. You live with people. You gotta be a government that li that is listening. You gotta be a political party that that is listening. That's why we, as Zambia uh, government, we have called people to come to Poland, and even other political parties that are not in Poland, their voices can be listened to by the government, by the president, Comrade Edim Nangam. We are willing to work with everyone, but uh, we were willing to work with those that are willing to work with us. That's why even when it comes to COVID-19, we were willing to get our vaccines from those countries that are able to work with us, those countries that have been working, that, those countries that wish us as well. We will not take aid uh, and give all our people, uh, take that aid from a country or from a government that does not support our values. So we are urging the MDC Alliance to start to stop politicking and understand the wave of politics in our country and in the region. We look in South Africa, the oppositions are working with the government, even the way they debate in parliament, it's very constructive. Comrade Idim Nangagwa has created a conducive environment politically. So now you are talking about uh, the Minister of Finance. You are already accusing that he has taken the money. Exactly how you accused the ZEC when they were waiting for their five-day period to compile the numbers of all those who have voted so that the result can be very vigilant and very uh, uncontested. And we are seeing that behavior continues to come. We, we, you, the finance ministry is doing their job. They are doing their work. They are preparing their reports. Once they finish preparing a report, of course there's parliament. They will make sure that they will table that to the parliament committee. And all the funds will be accounted for. So why then do you have to rush and already just accusing that there is something happening? Why are you saying that? That's why I said this is under Zimbabwe. The under Zimbabwe. This culture is a foreign culture. We are not used to this kind of culture that is coming from the MDC Alliance. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Uh, Jokora. Respond to that. We give you two minutes to respond to that. Then we switch to the diaspora issues. Uh, yes, uh, let me uh, thank my brother from uh, EFF uh, for correcting me for that um, uh, obviously, you know, uh, uh, mistake that I made uh, when I said it's four million. It's, uh, it's 4,000. He is very right there. 
it was it, it, it was an obvious mistake. Uh, but uh, I saw my brother going to the moon and the sun and uh, getting excited about that. You know, that, that, was, that was just a mistake, uh, uh, say. And um, he, he was saying, he came here saying, uh, he can't speak for on behalf of ZANU-PF, but I'm seeing he's doing a very good job, even better than Mangwana, you know, speaking on behalf of, uh, of, uh, of, of, of ZANU-PF. That's, uh, <laughs> that's uh, very unfortunate. And uh, they both, uh, ZANU-PF, uh, Mr. Uh, Charumbira and my brother from EFF, they are saying the MDC is criticizing. Uh, nobody has been criticized here. All I challenged ZANU PF and my brother from EFF uh, was can we have uh, what the $1 billion that was donated to Zimbabwe, what it has been used for? If that is criticism, then uh, I, I don't know how they, they define the word criticism. All we are saying is Let's be transparent as a country. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's give the people of Zimbabwe the right information. Where is the $1 billion? We haven't seen its impact. $1 billion is a lot of money. It should be making an impact by now. And I did not say the minister has stolen any money or anyone has stolen any money. All we are saying is let's have the numbers. Where is the money going uh, right now? And I'm, I'm really shocked that uh, Mr. Charumbira says that um, we, 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 we don't take money uh, from people that do not uh, uh, subscribe to what we are doing. We, we, we got money and we got help from our friends, uh, the Chinese. But uh, that $1 billion did not come from China. That $1 billion did not come from Russia. It came from those very same countries, America, United Kingdom, Europe, these, the very same countries that are Mr. Charumbira and ZANU-PF are continually bashing. is indeed an embarrassment. And I think uh, if America and UK and uh, the other officials can hear this broadcast, I, I don't think Mr. Charumbira will still be having his job because uh, the Americans, the British, have done well, have done a good job helping Zimbabwe. The Americans, the America itself, has used one bill, over $1 billion in the past 10 years or so as aid to Zimbabwe. But uh, they are being blasted here by Mr. Charumbira. Uh, Chris, I think, uh, thank you so much, Mr. Lokora. Uh, Chris, I think we can now switch on to the diaspora issue because last time we didn't finish the topic, uh, I think we had a uh, little time to discuss that. But unfortunately, I can't see. Mr. Ndiwali, I don't know what happened to Mr. Ndiwali. Oh, you can hear me, but I cannot see you on the screen uh, for you to join the show. Okay, Chris, you can uh, uh, start the ball rolling on the diaspora issue. Okay. Hey, Mr. Ndiwali, you can log out and come back so that I can uh, see you here staging. Uh, mm -hmm. So, Mr. Busango, uh, we had prior to the last election that um, there could be a possibility of a diaspora vote. Now, uh, what has changed? Do you know anything about uh, whether there's going to be any vote? Okay, thank you very much, uh, Brother Chris. As far as uh, the diaspora vote, <clears throat> I think we have mentioned quite some time that this quite some um, just now uh, processes that are needed for us to have a, a clear number of votes for everyone. We will have seen that after some statistics, we have seen that uh, we have got Zimbabwe in almost every country in the world. So this diaspora vote is for everyone in the diaspora regardless of which country they are in. So some of the countries where these people are, there are no embassies. I'll talk, for instance, in uh, Poland. I was helping students in Poland <clears throat> to renew their passports and, and, and other things. And the nearest passport office is either to go to Russia or they can go to Netherlands. 
and we have lots of students over there almost 5,000 students in Poland, almost 5,000 students in Ukraine, in that part of Eastern Europe only. So if we're going to say, we want to consider diaspora force, the government has to be very careful so that we won't leave other people out. When we are going to have this vote, it has to be available for everybody who is able to vote. So by doing so, there is quite a lot of logistical uh, processes that are needed. And the government at this point is working on those logistical uh, processes. And uh, once they are done, they will let us know. We are not going to be rushed by anyone who has got some ambitions uh, so that we can make and fail. We were rushed during COVID-19 that this government should do this, should do that, especially with NPC Alliance. And we are not going to bow down to an opposition political party that lost elections to push us to do things that we know we are not ready to do. And we are not going to do it if we are not ready to do it. At this point, the government is not ready. And once they are ready, they are going to let us know. And even myself, I would have to travel to Zimbabwe or to a, to a country where I know that I can vote. But uh, I want to push the government because I know that they are not ready. Now, we want to be very clear that the Zambian government is quite confident of 2023 and 2028. So we are not afraid of the elections. And it's, it, we are not saying because if we don't, we are refusing to, 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 to go ahead with the diaspora vote because we are afraid that we'll lose. We lose from who? We are losing from who? Who has done what? We are not, we have been working from the past election Right now, as I'm speaking to you, the Vice President, Comrade Konstantin Chuenga, is in Dubai. What is he doing there? He's meeting with diaspora. For what reason? He's trying to find out and also to encourage people in the diaspora to invest back home and also to look at the investment that can come through the diaspora. So we are not afraid of that. We are trying to do as much as we can to engage. If you see, Mm. I think we are having uh, problems there with your audio, uh, audio Mr. Sang. Uh, meanwhile, uh, we'll go to uh, Mr. Ndivali. I think uh, you heard what was said there. What's your contribution? Yeah, I, I think it is uh, very, very um, incumbent upon the government uh, to ensure that uh, they uh, provide uh, platforms or logistical uh, processes that will enable the Zimbabweans who are in the diaspora to vote. Uh, a number of us, we've been going to Zimbabwe to vote. But it is very difficult for many other Zimbabweans who are engaged in various activities, including uh, business, including uh, education, including work. So it's very difficult. Uh, so if uh, the uh, platforms are made more accessible within the diaspora, within the uh, countries, uh, then uh, Zimbabweans will be able to vote uh, in their numbers. Because given the fact that Zimbabweans are demonstrating uh, clearly that they love their country, they are investing in their country, they are sending massive remittances uh, back home. And also, I have said this in the, in the past, that uh, if uh, the government can manage to uh, connect uh, with the diaspora um, citizens, uh, it is possible that uh, most of uh, the citizens who are in the diaspora, who are running businesses, like, uh, for example, myself, uh, fortunately, I'm going to come back, they can even headquarter their business in Harare, in Blawa, and even uh, assist the government to create jobs. But they cannot do that without being given uh, the, 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 the right as uh, citizens to vote. And uh, we have even called for the government to look at providing a minister 
uh, who is uh, in charge or who is actually mandated uh, to work for the diaspora because we've got uh, a big number of Zimbabweans who are in the diaspora. So we, we, we are calling uh, for that. Again, the other thing is that uh, what is surprising to me is that uh, from my colleague uh, in the in the MDC, very much aware that they want elections today. They are calling for elections. They want us to rush into elections. But yet we've got so many things that uh, we need to look at. We need to look at uh, the electoral reform. We need even to look at this diaspora vote that we are discussing, which is why we must have dialogue, which is why we must actually sit around the table, have dialogue, consider these uh, pertinent issues to ensure that uh, Zimbabweans, wherever they are, they are accorded their rights, they are given their constitutional right to vote, because I believe that the government of Zimbabwe has the capability of facilitating those platforms and they have the capability of enabling that every Zimbabwean is, uh, you know, enabled to vote across, uh, you know, uh, various countries. Uh, I don't know whether me okay I, I was saying before i go to uh mr jokora or i give the mic to mr jokora i wanted to throw a question to you mr Ndivali, that uh, do you agree with what the mdc alliance did by coming up with the diaspora forum uh i mean diaspora affairs a ministry as you were saying they should be a, a minister responsible for that the mdc we had last week that they came up with such a ministry what's your take on that Yes, it is indeed a very good step in the right direction. As I have often said that we in the EFF, even if other opposition do good things, we will recognize that. We recognize that it is a good step in the right direction. EFF has always had uh, in you know, uh, 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 diaspora representatives across uh, different countries. For example, we've got uh, coordinators in various countries uh, to push the diaspora vote. But what the MDC has done in terms of having some kind of a, a ministry uh, within uh, their uh, whatever cabinet, uh, it is a good thing. It is a good thing in the good direction. But what they need to do is to then go and join others go and sit down and communicate with others and put that across the table and say, look, this is what we have, this is what we believe, and this is what we believe that will be in the best interest of Zimbabweans. But if they are sitting there at the corner there crying, protesting, that is not helpful, that is not productive. So when they put up something like that, which is good, they need to take it to others so that we can have this conversation. This is why I believe that uh, uh, Comrade Monzora is not uh, very, very wrong in terms of saying that let's prioritize dialogue. Let's have the politics yeah. of dialogue, the politics of, uh, uh, you know, uh, talking to one another, finding one another, so that uh, we are not just only zanu Yes, Mr. Devalens, if, if, if you ever tried that, if you ever invited other political parties for dialogue, opposition parties? We, we, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. In the past, I've engaged the leader of MDC, uh, Comrade uh, uh, Chamisa, uh, to, to just have a conversation about the various things. But uh, clearly, uh, they play the big boys, they play the big brother politics, uh, which uh, they believe that uh, they are too big. I've engaged uh, Comrade Monzora, and uh, we've got a meeting coming up with Comrade Monzora in the in the next few weeks. I've engaged uh, even uh, uh, ZANU-PF, uh, different uh, uh, level, a different level, so that we can have a conversation. And we are actually uh, going to be participating in our own right as EFF Zimbabwe in Poland, because as things stands, we are still within the Rainbow Coalition, which is represented in the Poland by uh, Maima Tibenga. 
But we have said that EFF is a revolutionary movement. EFF is different in terms of its approach. So we cannot be represented by anyone. We want to represent ourselves. Thank you, Mr. Gregora. Yes, um, contrary to what, uh, what Mr. Charumbira was saying, that uh, ZANU-PF is not afraid of uh, uh, elections or giving the diaspora vote to the diasporans. Indeed, ZANU-PF is afraid. That's the reason why they have not uh, uh, enacted the diaspora voter, uh, even though Mr. Munangagwa, uh, you know, uh, said it in, in a public forum that um, he, he is going to introduce the diaspora vote. He, 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 they know, ZANU-PF clearly knows, and it's, um, it's public knowledge that uh, they don't have the numbers in the diaspora. They don't have the support in the diaspora. The majority of uh, the people that are here are actually running away from ZANU-PF persecution. They are running away from uh, uh, ZANU-PF-induced poverty in Zimbabwe. That's why people are in South Africa. That's why we are here. That's why people are in the United Kingdom. They are running away from ZANU-PF's inefficiencies in Zimbabwe. So I don't know how those people will turn out uh, to vote for ZANU-PF. And ZANU-PF knows that. If you know what you are doing, you will support the diaspora. You will be the chairman of ZANU-PF in Canada. It's just his executive. Never know what you. Now my what you. That opera. Because what you want is data based. Rain your van. Vamuno. Vanu. Vanu. Varuma. Shure menu. Vamuno. Timuno. Tunga. Mirira. Akuna. You go to the executive. Yeah. UK. Yeah. Zan. PF. Yeah. South Africa. Yeah. Ku. Yeah. Muno. Ma. America. Amuna. Vanu. Vanu. Support. Zan. PF. And the. And 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 that's the truth. And uh, I know they will call it. Uh, 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 Mr. Charumbira will call it criticism, but to us it's not criticism. We are just saying something that Mr. Munangagwa himself said. If Mr. Jen Moyo was here of the MDCT, you'd be you'd be saying the same thing because he is the one who asked the question to Mr. Munangagwa when he was in New York, and he said we are going to make sure that uh, the diasporans vote. That was in 2018. Up to now, nothing has been done. Uh, Mr. Charumbira comes here and says they need time. They need time. How much time does ZANU PF need? They have had 40 years. How do you continue to ask for more time to, 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 to do something that is good by your citizens, that is good by your people, that is good by the people that are keeping Zimbabwe going? As it is right now, the diasporans are keeping Zimbabwe going. We contribute $1.3 billion to the fiscals. And they should be grateful. The government should be grateful. Why do you want to continue receiving those remittances? Why do you want to continue uh, receiving money from the people that yes. you are denying if, their if, democratic rights? If I, if I can it is just... our right to vote. Yes. That, that's why is the MDC Alliance, let me just say this line. That's why is the MDC Alliance, we, we have published papers, uh, our smart papers in our smart documents that talk about electoral reforms. We need electoral reforms Thank in Zimbabwe. You. The playing field has to be level. And one of the uh, uh, most important reforms is the diaspora vote. Thank you so much, Mr. Dokura. What I just wanted to say is uh, last month, uh, Zimbabweans here in uh, DMV area, Washington, Maryland, Virginia area, uh, they had the opportunity to meet with the new ambassador, uh, Mr. Chifamba. And uh, that issue was also raised about remittances. And uh, he, pointed it, he pointed out that remittances are going to your families, guys, not to the government. What do you say? No, 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 no. Uh, that, that's, uh, that's very wrong. If, uh, in a, if an ambassador is uh, saying... Uh, that's, uh, you know okay, go ahead. Uh, that's, that's very wrong. Because when the money goes into Zimbabwe, we're not talking about uh, the help that is being given to the people that are supposed to be helped by the country, by, by, by the government. These people are supposed to be having jobs in the first place. We shouldn't be even be sending them money. We are sending them money because the government has failed to give them jobs. But besides that, when the money gets into the country, Muturi Nure takes 2%. When my grandmother goes to World Remit to take that money, the, uh, Muturi Nure takes 2%. 
when my same grandmother goes no. to his father's shop. I, I, I don't think that is the case, uh, Mr. Jokora. I've sent money to relatives. I've never heard them saying, you send $100, I got $98 or so. They get no, their $100. For every transaction, I, I can bring you that police. For every transaction that is done in Zimbabwe uh, with money, there is, they, 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 the government takes 2%. So maybe they, they charge the every uh, time. they charge the agents, not the recipient. Then yes, either way, either way, that money ends up with the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe. That okay, money Chris, ends up in their coffers. Chris, uh, I know you want to say up. something. <laughs> Chris, yeah, please. sure. I I wanted to ask uh, um, Mr. Ndivali, uh what he makes of. Uh, this issue of uh, remittances, uh, do you think it's a fair assessment to say that uh, uh, people, those in the diaspora, should be talking about, uh, you know, talking up the government by sending money because the money is going to the relative? No, look, uh, it is it is, is true that uh, when people send money, they are not sending it to the Ministry of Finance they are sending it to their own family. Mm -hmm. That is in the practical sense. So when I send money via Western Union or, or World Remit, I'm sending it to my sister or to my uh, mother. Okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, it is then uh, the issues that happens there where maybe there, there are some uh, taxes here and there, uh, but uh, it is not true uh, as what Mr. Zokora is putting it as if um it is um that uh, when Zimbabwe is sending money is actually uh sitting down somewhere sending um tooling move uh, some funds that that because to the to the to the ordinary person in the village there it will sound as if that is what he's saying but that is not true but the, certainly the remittances that we are sending whether to our families or wherever they do have an impact in terms of the fiscal of the country. So we are indeed contributing to the fiscal. But it has to be clear that uh, uh, it is not as, uh, you know, uh, as what uh, Mr. Tokora is saying. And again, let me just say that, uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Tokora, you have to understand that uh, when uh, you talk about people in the diaspora, people in the diaspora are not members of the MDC alone. We've got so many political parties in Zimbabwe, which are more than 100 and something. So some people in the diaspora, do not mislead yourselves or others to suggest that all the people who are in the diaspora, they belong to you. We've got structures as EFF, and we work very closely with other EFF of other countries in various countries. So it is not true to suggest that uh, every person is MDC. The last thing is that uh, I, I never when say the, that. I never say that. Please say the truth. I no, never say they are MDC. Okay. I said the majority of the people no, I'm are running the... away from persecutions and poverty in Zimbabwe. And that's a fact. I didn't say all those people are, are MDC. No, it is, it, 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 is again, it is again not a fact because you do not have that empirical evidence to say that uh, the majority of the, of the, of the millions of Zimbabwe that we have in the diaspora are running away. Some of them are out there to do business. Some of them are out there as students. Some of them, indeed, they would have, uh, uh, you know, went away because of a persecution of some kind, but you cannot make a sweeping statement. So what I say to you is that uh, do not give an impression as if the people in the diaspora belong to MDC. And I never in any fact, MDC... In can I, I never say that. Okay, I'm saying say the impression, the impression. I never say it, you say, but it, let me say this. MDC, how many times have you split, you guys? Last time you split MDC, MDC Green. So the members, let me finish. The people in the diaspora right now, you've got MDC Alliance, and MDCT Monzora. So your structures of MDC are very much in, in tatters. Let us be honest. So let us not give an impression as if you are the most organized uh, political uh, party in, in the diaspora. No, 
ESF is part of it. There are other political parties as well who've got members in the diaspora. So when we go to the vote, let us not give an impression as if those who are demanding the, the, the diaspora vote is just the MDC simply because they've set up something that we say it is good. It doesn't mean that they've got the monopoly of that discussion. Let's go together to Poland. Let us go and challenge the government and put it to them that we want the diaspora vote. That one I'm willing to, 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 to actually co uh, you know, collaborate. But the, the problem is that uh, MDC is always protesting. Yeah, they are always protesting, Shem. I don't know why. They must have substance in whatever they say. <laughs> oh, you are muted, Jonga. Let me see. Okay, go ahead, Chris. Yeah. Yes, I was. No, I was saying you are muted. Uh, no, we wanted Mr. Zogora back. Oh, yeah, he's here. Uh, Mr. Zogora, you heard what uh, Mr. Ndivali has been saying. Uh, you know, that the MDC uh, is trying to portray itself as the most organized party in the country, but uh, it has split into all those bits and pieces. What's your take on that? Uh, at, at no time, uh, 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 Chris, uh, did I give an impression that uh, all Zimbabweans that are in the diaspora are uh, MDC. I, 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 I did not say that. And uh, we, as the MDC Alliance, do respect uh, the existence of other political players and uh, that's why you have heard uh, President Tamisa talk about uh, converging for change, uh, citizens coming together. Uh, right now, as you're seeing, President Tamisa, you know, is all over the rural areas, all over the country, meeting stakeholders. Who are these stakeholders? Uh, it is the chiefs, it is the uh, Anasabuku, it is uh, members of other political parties, including his own uh, political party. Uh, we are not segregative. We, 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 we take everyone. That's why we talk about the Big Ten. Uh, we are saying, uh, Zimbabweans, let's come together uh, under one big tent and uh, fight uh, what uh, the, the, the anomalies that we are all seeing uh, that are going on in Zimbabwe. You know, and uh, it's, it's unfortunate that uh, EFF comes here, like Rodama, Panga, Nematemo, sharpening, you know, knives and, 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 and spears against ZANU-PF, against, uh, against the MDC alliance. You know, it's, 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 it's very unfortunate. We are not saying we are perfect. No, our, that's uh, not true. We have had our no, no, no. We have had our issues as a party. Uh, we have we have had the splits, and as well as uh, uh, all the other revolutionary political parties, even the ANC, uh, ZANU PF itself, uh, all political parties at one time or another, you know, because of our issues that come up, and because of our issues to do with democracy, because we are a democratic party, we allow people to hear their views, and we also allow people to live when they decide to leave, you know, that cannot be attributed to, 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 to the MDC alliance. It's not uh, particular to the MDC alliance. But uh, as a people's party, we will continue to, 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 to push uh, the people's agenda and make sure that uh, we have the diaspora vote uh, come 2023. That's the reason why we now have uh, um, leader Satwayo, you know, heading our, our diaspora uh, ministry or Thank you ministry. so much. My and when he's doing that, when leader Satwayo comes in, he is not a, a, a person for the MDC alliance only. He is connecting all the diaspora, including EFF, including Thank you. all the other political my, parties. My, 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 Thank you so much. Chris, sir, when we immediately make it, don't go out. The value one when I put some on the road, or but you may say, I'm going to the level. Yeah, Mnumza and Divali, uh, Sessi figure my petal and what they long. I'm a feature and Jay, Ungati, Nuena, Nendaba, got to see pet, Lam Sanje, Igakulu, the eight as for it. Then I would show you what he, I want to get you back to Hele, Amazon, Amaneng, I would ask for a, and the e government, who was there, if I get him Zamoya, Yonke, who was a, yes, I want to have a good as for a Venice, Lesser, who voted. Nova Bona Avant with Zimbabwe, Bali Tanda Elizabeth, and Avant with Zimbabwe, a Barreti Uti, be participated.
uh, my elections and abantu bezimba ba isiku ukuthi ba ba sehla ngo twini oluyiwani o ba belong to a particular uh, political party ba belong to various political parties and ngifisa nje ukuthi engabe nje EMTC la ya understand ukuthi hayi nxa ukuthi i government yenze into ezilungileyo mayi recognize nxa kwenzeke ukubi my criticize kodwa i propose ukuthi kanti how do we go forward kungabi nje into ekhanye ngani yona isebenzela enye interest rather than interest yeah, thank you so much i have the for 30 seconds yes i am I'm, i'm still right now um, shocked that um, the ambassador would come and tell people that uh, there are 1.3 billion dollars uh, you know is is almost nothing they they are sending it to the to their relatives when the people get money that money is foreign currency that's the forex that is the the government is Thank looking you. for when they get that money where do they go so much what to buy good and safe Maida basa wadzokora thank you so much ya Chris ta batashuka kwa magumo ndiyo unu gara wachia uchi za wanu kuta ayo wa daitiru kukafu kana kuafuko nuku kana kuwe uti kapu taita extra time kana injury time asi nguwa yeah. zedu za jikana duda kutenda wa darewe edu watati na o tangatina wa regis charumbira fusango ve zanu pf wari ku north america wari ku canada wata wanda zokora ve mdc alliance wari mu north america Eh, wari muno ma America koita va inosende ndi wali we EFF Zimbabwe tinotenda zita ndini jonga kande miri chitimurari rakana kava tereri lami wenu Chris Kande good night Zimbabwe let's meet again next week same time